Tyrannosaurus Rex vs. Triceratops What happens when these two giants meet and have to fight? There was no greater adversary than Triceratops for a dinosaur as terrifying as Tyrannosaurus. One was a hypercarnivorous bone crusher, the other an immense three-horned herbivore. Both of these dinosaurs lived in North America during the Cretaceous period and were contemporaries. However, we don't really know whether Tyrannosaurus and Triceratops ever fought each other. Tyrannosaurus rex, one of the most famous and notable dinosaurs, is a theropod dinosaur. Many Tyrannosaurus fossils have been discovered, allowing scientists to learn more about how big it was, how it hunted, and how it lived. Triceratops are famous dinosaurs known for their three horns and a frill around their neck. The name Triceratops literally translates to three-horned face because they have three horns, two on the head and one above the nose. Size and Description Because of the large number of well-preserved fossils available for study, scientists know a lot about this dinosaur. Its length was about 40 feet, 12.2 meters. Its hips, which could reach a height of 12 or 13 feet from the ground, 3.6 to 3.9 meters. Based on the weight of their weight-bearing femur bones, T-Rex may have weighed up to 9 US tons, 8,164 kilograms. T-Rex walked hunched forward on its back two legs. These were quick and powerful, perfect for pursuing prey. One of the largest skulls ever discovered was around 5 feet long, 1.2 meters. They also had formidable sharp teeth. Their upper jaw was shaped like a U, which allowed them to rip out more meat with each bite. T-Rex's eyes were forward-facing and had excellent vision, as well as a strong sense of smell. Triceratopses were large animals with three horns and a frill around their neck. Their upper lips were shaped like a parrot's beak. They were quite impressive animals, though slightly smaller than elephants. Paleontologists believe Triceratops' body length was close to 30 feet, 9 meters. The largest adults were estimated to weigh 12,000 to 16,000 pounds, 5,450 to 7,260 kilograms. They had four thick legs and a powerful tail that helped them defend. Their front legs were shorter than their back legs. Each front leg had three hooves and each back leg had four. They were thought to have an upright posture similar to elephants. The largest discovered Triceratops skull was approximately 8 feet long, 2.5 meters. Range and Habitat Today, all Tyrannosaurus rex fossils have been discovered in North America by researchers. There are 13 known specimens, all of which are believed to be buried beneath the ground in the United States and Canada. This does not necessarily imply that these creatures did not roam the entire American continent, but rather that the conditions for fossilization were met in these areas. Seven specimens have been discovered in Montana, four in South Dakota, one in Wyoming, and one in Saskatchewan. The landscape of their range, like much of the rest of the world, was very different 65 million years ago. They were most likely found in coastal swamps and open forests. It is difficult to say how far these creatures roamed, as it is with all dinosaurs. Fossilization typically occurs only at specialized sites that meet the ideal criteria for bone conserving. As a result, only a few areas can provide fossil evidence of the creatures that once lived there. Scientists have discovered specimens of these dinosaurs in Colorado, Montana, Wyoming, South Dakota, and a few provinces in Canada, proving that they lived in North America. These dinosaurs most likely lived in dry, forested areas and plains with plenty of vegetation. Ferns, cicads, and palms were most likely abundant in these environments. 
food habits. T. rex subsisted entirely on meat. They could hunt almost any type of prey. They most likely preferred herbivores and smaller carnivores that were easier to catch. Other dinosaur scales and spikes probably made it difficult for them to tear through to the meat inside. T. rex did, however, have very strong jaws and teeth, and few dinosaurs could match them. Hadrosaurs, Ceratopia, and Ankylosaurs were three dinosaurs that probably fed the T. rex during this time period. Because of the discovery of multiple specimen skeletal remains in close proximity, some scientists believe T. rex lived and hunted in packs. This would have made the already dangerous hunter even more lethal. T. rex was at the top of its food chain. Triceratops were herbivores, which means they ate plants rather than animals or meat. They most likely ate a wide variety of plants and, like modern elephants, may have used their massive size and strength to knock down trees in order to get at leaves. The Triceratops had rows and rows of teeth, as well as a sharp, hard beak that allowed them to slice and crush various types of vegetation. Despite their intimidating appearance, they did not hunt other dinosaurs for meat, but they could have easily defended themselves against predators. It is thought that the Triceratops were herding animals who roamed the plains on all fours, eating plants as they went, in the same way that buffalo or cows do today. Behavior Any information we have on these dinosaurs' behavior is purely speculative or educated guess. Fossilization can only reveal so much about a creature's behavior. The presence of T. rex teeth embedded in other T. rex fossils indicates that these creatures were either extremely aggressive toward one another or engaged in cannibalism. Evidence from closely related species suggests they hunted in packs as well. Triceratops are commonly described in films and television as herding animals, similar to American bison or hippopotamus. In reality, there is no evidence to support or disprove this theory. There have been fossil discoveries in groups, but it is unknown whether those were family groups or some other social group. We simply do not know enough about their behavior because we can only study a small percentage of those who became fossilized. We do know that they likely fought amongst themselves, as fossils with injuries from other Triceratops have been discovered. Who would win a fight between the Tyrannosaurus rex and the Triceratops? This is one of the most famous dinosaur battles of all time. Throughout history, these two animals have been pitted against each other numerous times. Both were well armed enough to incapacitate or kill the other. Triceratops and T. rex used different attack methods, so we'll compare them. The Triceratops has three horns on its head, two of which are four feet long and one of which is one foot long. T. rex was a terrifying carnivore that had 17,000 pound bite power and up to 60 teeth that measured 12 inches long. Because of its incredible bite, the T. rex has the advantage in terms of sheer attack power. Both the Triceratops and the T. rex relied on their massive size and speed to avoid predators. Triceratops also had a super strong skull that helped them survive trauma. The T. rex was a monster that could easily find, pursue, and kill prey. Triceratops did not hunt, but evidence suggests that it may have clashed with another Triceratops, much like rams do today. Their combat abilities would most likely include charging and then attacking enemies in their vital areas. Tyrannosaurus should never be underestimated in this fight because it has the definitive advantage in terms of height, intelligence, a monstrous bite force, and the fact that it is a bipedal animal, which gives it greater maneuverability. Triceratops, on the other hand, is gonna be an extremely difficult dinosaur to take down for the rex. Its head is a spiked shield that can prove lethal in any situation. 
Given that the T-Rex will have to try to pass the Ceratopsian's horns to do much, the odds are stacked in favor of the Triceratops. The Triceratops, on the other hand, could simply gore the T-Rex and the fight would be over. But if the T-Rex is smart, it can literally bite a Triceratops' horns to the point that they are crushed by the sheer pressure of the T-Rex's jaws. Knowing the T-Rex's capabilities, this scenario is extremely likely because it would have the experience to take down the Triceratops. As I said before, the Triceratops' horns are lethal. One good thrust from them will definitely cause massive damage to the Rex. And the Rex can just aim for the Triceratops' neck to end the fight quickly. I think this one is a 50-50 for both sides. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Until next time, farewell.